Let's engrave some stuff. So in a previous video, I went over and reviewed the We Create Vision. You can find that video right here. There's a general overview, showed a couple tests of what the machine could do. But this video is dedicated to tumblers. Wait, where's my tumbler? Tumblers. About a quarter of my business is engraving tumblers. And I've done probably a thousand tumblers at this point. And all with diode laser machines. Several different machines that I've used over the course of the last two years. As a crow. Crow, shut up. They've all had some positives and negatives about them. But none of them have had what this has. And that is a dedicated spot for the rotary built in from day one. And when you get the machine, it comes with that rotary and the attachment all ready to go. So I'll be testing that out. I'm going to show you some of the results and give you some of my overall feedback regarding that. Because lasers are cool, but so are tumblers. And these sell. If you are looking at making this a business or a hobby, making a little extra money on the side, this is a great way of doing it. Almost everyone has a coffee tumbler, stainless steel water bottle, and it's great to be able to offer some sort of personalization to them, whether it's their name or an image. And this makes it easy all in one box. Let's take a look at some of those things. So you've been cutting engraving to your heart's content, and now you wanna level up your game. You want to install your rotary. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna show you a couple things you could do with this and how this could open up different projects you can do and get creative and make all sorts of cool stuff with the We Create Rotary. I'm holding that in kind of a, a weird way. Here we go, the rotary. Let's install it. The process is really simple. To convert this from your cutting and engraving setup to your rotary setup, first things first, is to remove the uh, slat grates, which I really like. I'm still kind of up in the air of whether I prefer the honeycomb or the slats. Next, we're gonna be placing the rotary in here on the marked spot. There are already pre-drilled holes in there on the end for you to place it. That drops into place right there. There are two mounting screws to put in on either side and it holds it in place. One of the things that really attracts me about this machine is that you have a dedicated area for the rotor. You don't have to fuss with it. You don't have to align it. It's already built into the machine. You drop it in and you're good to go. Setup, whenever I do rotaries on other machines, takes at least 15, 20 minutes sometimes with alignment. Here, that's not the case. You bolt it in, mount your tumbler. We're gonna plug in our cable right there. And we're pretty much set to start creating. Two connection points for the cable. One on the back, screwing it in. Make sure the power is turned off when you plug in that cable, per their warning right there. And there is another cable that goes into the top of the rotary. And this kind of will, the wires kind of hang out down here. I might put in like a, a piece of tape or a zip tie or something to kind of hold that down. And I'm ready to mount my tumbler. One modification that I've made when doing a tumbler in here is I have a Kind of a blank piece of Baltic birch polywood in here. And it's gonna make the contrast a little bit easier to see in the software, especially when engraving a, a black tumbler. Otherwise, it's really hard to see the outline of the tumbler to get the proper alignment. And we create software. I brought in an image that I prepared ahead of time. It's this image of an octopus that I have kind of created in Photoshop. Size it at the tumbler, rotate it. And I want it to be a pretty significant size on the tumbler. With that wood backing makes it a lot easier to see. I also have a light over the top to add some more contrast to make it easier to see. I don't know if there's anything that can be done with that in the future, but I know that they're not the only ones that have that issue. So any system that has a camera is gonna have a potential similar issue. I have that issue with the Glowforge as well. But easy hack. I think that looks good. One nice thing with the WeCreate software is because I put in that this is a black tumbler, they give me this preview screen here. I want it to be fairly detailed. So I actually think I'm going to choose 100 power, 200 millimeters a second. That should be good. I want to make sure I get a nice clean engrave. I also inverted the image too. So anywhere you see black, that is where it's going to get engraved. Everywhere it's white is gonna pretty much stay the way it is. So it's inverted from the way I created the image to 
make sure that I have the detail coming out that I would like. So I got a little octopus coming out of a coffee cup there. I'm going to go ahead and hit start. I'm given a preview time of roughly two minutes and 25 seconds, which is pretty fast. So let's go ahead and hit send and we'll see the magic that happens once we press our magic button there. The Wii Crate did an awesome job capturing the detail of my drawing here. And having that on a coffee tumbler is a perfect use of that image. And if you would like this image, it's available free to my Patreon members. Otherwise, you could go to patreon.com slash geekbuilders and you can pick it up there. The grave was really fast too, so I'm really impressed with the setup and the engraving speed and power of the Wii Crate Vision. I ran one more additional test with a stainless steel water bottle with a little bit of a retro sci-fi theme just to see the difference on some different graphic types. And I think with their software, it actually makes it a little bit easier to do a wraparound design, even though I did not do one here. I want to do another test with a full wraparound pattern in the future to see how it holds up. Uh, it's something that's kind of difficult to pull off with some rotaries, um, although part of it is in the setup and design. But this is it. The Wii Crate Rotary will engrave just about any cylindrical object stainless steel tumblers, glass with a little bit of preparation. It will not do clear glass natively. Other colored objects that are cylindrical, you could do tennis balls, baseballs that I've done. You could do rings and pretty much anything you could fit in there that it can safely engrave. If you like the idea of having a single machine in your shop that does it all, then you really need to look at the We Create Vision with an auto adjustable height and focus, built-in capability for rotary, air assist, enclosed so there's no laser rays getting anywhere. This really might be the one machine for your shop. If you're interested in looking at more details in terms of the cost, special deals, check out in the description below. There's all sorts of details and links for all the specials going on right now, especially for the holiday season. You might just find exactly what you're looking for. If you would like to test out this octopus coming out of the coffee cup, go ahead and check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash geekbuilders. Now, if you become a Patreon member, I'm gonna be posting free image files and assets every week for those Patreon members and they get those for free. If you wanna just pick up the image, you could do that as well, but go ahead and check out my Patreon. You can find all that information there, along with a bunch of dogs barking that I can't seem to get around. Anyways, thank you for watching my video. I'm, thank you for watching this video. I hope that you found some information that was somewhat useful. I'm in the process of writing and creating a series of tutorial videos specifically for lasers, no matter what laser you have, um, although some will be later specific for certain uh, certain features. And I'm hoping that you can find that content useful as well. Um, once again, thank you for watching. I have a lot of content in the back catalog, especially laser-related stuff and other cool DIY geek-related videos, if that's something of interest to you. Please don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to get my numbers up a lot for the end of this year and also for the coming year. I have a lot of things planned. I need to be able to show growth for the channel in order to be able to do some of those new things and take some of those uh, next steps. But thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Don't forget to design, make, and play. Take care. Let's engrave some stuff. Let's engrave some stuff. Let's engrave some stuff.